Police departments around the country are now checking out new technology that they say is meant to make us safer. As Darren Trotter with our partner KABB in San Antonio, Texas reports, they're using science to find out if the eyes lie. You were asked to choose a number between two and nine. In just a few minutes. And we'll ask you some general knowledge questions. Infrared lights are calibrated to a person's eyes and then the computer takes over. Drum roll. This is always the moment of truth. To see if he's lying or telling the truth. The computer said that you were deceptive on the number six. Please be the number six. There we go. The company Conversus is bringing a new type of lie detection to the world. It's called eye detect. So in that little five minute test, we took about 30,500 measurements of your left eye and 30,500 measure, 30, measurements of your right eye. PhDs at the University of Utah created it in the early 2000s, partially funded by your federal tax dollars. But how it's being used is what's new. We need to screen candidates to make sure that the officers that are out there to protect us uh, have not committed crimes in their past that would disqualify them uh, to be an officer of the law or a corrections officer. Six is not the number that I picked. Pardons and parole offices are also checking it out to use on criminals, all based on pupil dilation. Eyes do dilate. That's one of the physiological reactions we do have when we're lying or scared or any other kind of uh, emotions that um, affect the body. Patrick Ober with the American Polygraph Association says he's been evaluating it for about 18 months now. Which is it's somewhat less intrusive because we don't place components on a person's body. It simply looks at and looks at the pupils of the eyes. Pupils also expand when they see something interesting. Now that's a technique that's been used by the CIA, poker players, and me when I was single for years. Of course, her getting up and walking away was another good sign she wasn't interested.